this is the third part of the videos on using the tic-tac-toe method of factoring trinomials like this. This video will deal with the last term being negative. The sign rule says if the last sign is negative, the signs are different regardless of the middle sign. So whether it says x squared minus bx minus c or x squared plus bx minus c, the important thing it says minus c tells me the signs in the parentheses will be different. And we will use that rule on all of the rest of these today. 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. What multiplies give me 3x squared, 3x times x, just like it was before. We look at the last sign being negative. That tells me that in my grid here, one of these is minus, one of these is plus. I don't know when I begin which one's minus and which is plus. I can fix that at the end. Notice I have the factors up here of 4. 4 could be 2 times 2 or it could be 1 times 4. In keeping with our rules from the other video, I've said let's try the closer factors first. So we try the 2 with the 2. But that's not going to work. That's going to give me negative 6x positive 2x, which does not give me 11x there for my middle term. That says it's not the 2 and the 2. So we can throw all of this out and start again with the 1 and the 4. So let's put the 4 here and the 1 here. Now 3x times negative 4 is actually a negative 12x. 1 times x is a positive 1x. When I put these together, I'm close because I get negative 11x. The number is correct, so we don't want to change the numbers. It's the sign that's wrong. That says all I have to do is swap out these signs. This minus needs to become a positive, and this positive needs to become a negative. And the way I will group these is still on the diagonal with 3x minus 1 and x plus 4. And that's how this factors out. 3x minus 1 and x plus 4. In this one, the 2x squared in the front has to be a 2x times an x. Since the last sign is negative, 1 is minus and 1 is plus. Two possibilities to get 10, 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. I'd rather try the closer factors first. And like we said last time, there's no way that the 2 can go here because that would imply I had a common factor. If you have common factors on the diagonal, that means you had a common factor in the problem, and we didn't have a common factor. That says 2 can't go here. So if it's going to be 2 and 5, 2 is going to have to go here, and 5 is going to have to go here. Let's check that out. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. x times 5 is positive 5x. So like a problem a second ago, when I add this together, I get the correct number but the wrong sign. So just change your signs. Make this the one that's positive and make this one the negative. Group them on the diagonal and you have 2x minus 5 with x plus 2. 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. I've already placed the 5x and the x in the front because that's all you could possibly have. The last sign is negative. So 1 is minus, 1 is plus. We have two possibilities for 6. Could be 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. I'd prefer to try the closer factors first. So I'm going to put a 2 here and a 3 there. Check this out. I get a negative 10x, a positive 3x, and again, I got the right number, but I happen to put the sign in the wrong place. And that's just going to be a guessing game on your part. Sometimes you're going to put it in the right place right off the bat, and sometimes you're not. So I happen to put the minus and the plus here. That gives me negative 7x. That's not the sign I want. So all I have to do is change the sign. Make that the positive. Make that the negative. Check that. Makes positive 10x. Makes negative 3x, which really does give me the positive 7x I want. Group this on the diagonal and you're looking at 5x minus 3, and the other one says x plus 2. Here's another one where I have multiple possibilities for the front and the back. I could have a factor of 1 times 6 or 2 times 3 on the front. I can also have these possibilities for the back. So try your closer factors first, though. 3x 
and 2x in the front. The last sign is negative, so I know I'm going to have 1 minus and 1 plus. Possibilities for 12 are all of these, but we just keep saying try the closer factors first. Now keep in mind the common factor idea. Because of the common factor idea, there is no way I could put a 3 here. Because there is no common factor in the problem, so you're not allowed to have common factors on the diagonals. So 3 can't go there. Well, 3 could go there. How about 4? Can 4 go here? Sure, we're not going to have any problems with the common factors. So let's go ahead and check that out. 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. 2x times 4 is positive 8x. And negative 9x plus 8x does give me negative x. So on the first try, we found the pairings that work. 3x plus 4 and 2x minus 3. And be sure you write your answer as a product. Don't leave it in the tic-tac-toe grid. Your answer needs to be a product of parenthesis times parenthesis. 4x squared minus x minus 3. Two possibilities for 4, either 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. Trying the closer factors first, we have a 2x times a 2x. The last sign is negative, so one of these is minus and one of these is plus. The only thing that works for 3 is a 3 and a 1. So if I put a 1 here and a 3 here, I have no problems with my common factor rule. Let's check that out. Multiply across gives me negative 2x. Across here gives a positive 6x, which does not equal negative 1x. It won't do me any good to swap the 3 and the 1 because they'd still be paired up with a 2. What that says is the front factors are not 2x and 2x. So we're going to throw those away and bring in the 4x and the 1x. Keeping the same signs, we now have to try the 1 and the 3. Could be 1 here or 3, we'll just have to check. This is negative 4x. This is positive 3x. When I add those together, I get the negative 1x, so it's going to be 4x plus 3 and x minus 1 for my factoring. And here they are written up in parentheses. So that's your tic-tac-toe. You can actually use tic-tac-toe also on the plain old x squared plus something plus something. You can even use it on the difference of two squares. I will address that in another video.